What it do, everybody, bitches and gentlemen, it's showtime, it is your boy G20, King Sarcasm, y'all already know what it is, man, and welcome back to Be A Pro, we are 12 games into the season by now, because I played a little bit off cam, we have 23 points in 12 games, we have been balling, alright, we have been playing very well, and spoiler alert, uh, your boy Johnny Gaudreau is leading the league in uh, goal scoring. Not scoring as a thing, but goal scoring, you know. So, good shit, good start for the fire squad that is the Buffalo Sabres now. But today is an important game, and that is why I am playing it. We are in Toronto. I do believe it's it's on a Saturday night. We'll see, hold the phone. Yes, it sure is. It's on a Saturday night, which means it's on Hockey Night in Canada. And it is Morgan Riley's return game to Toronto. And then we have a back-to-back, -back and we're going to play Boston. So I think I'm actually just going to play the playoff format that I've been doing, which is simulate one period and then play the next two. So we'll see here how the game starts in Toronto. It is Morgan Riley's first game back after signing with us, and it's a one-to-one -one score after one. Kapanen and Goudreau with the goal scoring so far in the game, and speaking of which, we're going to pass it to Goudreau, who's going to pass it right back to me. I would love it if we could get Mo a nice, big, juicy goal here on his return to Toronto, but we'll have to see, man. We're just going to play the game as it's played. You know, if Morgan's open and we have a lead, I might give it to Morgan. But, you know, it's we're not going to force it to him, basically, is what we're uh, we're trying to avoid here. We're going to pick that off. Ooh, that, yeah, I, I could have passed it left, but I figure this is also a safe option, or it is the safest option. So that's what we're going to do here, nice and early in the second period. You don't want to force anything too quick. Nice one-timer we created right there for our teammate, but that's going to be stopped. And that's been a, a little bit of a play that I've been working Okay, I have two guys that are not on their one-timer side, so what you got to do is get the puck behind the net to get them open if you want one-timers. Now we're going to be taking a penalty because, of course, we will. It is EA Sports, and that's just that's just how the game goes. It's just, you know, into the corner where it goes, and we're going to take another penalty. Of course we are. Oh, it was Riley who took the penalty, too, and boom, they're going to score. It's now 2-1 for the buds. All right. That's not a great play right there for uh, for Riley. I'm betting, uh, I'm going to bet, you know, they're not going to do it because it's EA Sports and the crowd is absolutely dead in this game. But, you know, I'm going to bet Toronto fans would be giving Morgan Riley a little bit of a hard time about that penalty. I'm just saying. He did sign a contract, you know. He was not traded to us. He signed a contract to the uh, Buffalo Sabres, which I'm sure did not sit well with the uh, Leaf fans, but I'm sure they have some class, which means they probably will cheer him during the tribute and then boo him for the rest of the game, but I'm sure he's going to get his moment to shine. I mean, this is the Leafs fan base we're talking about here. They wouldn't boo him during the tribute. That's just flat out disrespectful and classless. They would never do that, but we still want to give uh, Riley the win, though. Look at that shit. Look at the puck movement from the Buffalo Sabres just like that. We know where everybody is already, man. Well, maybe not at all times, but it does, uh, it does tend to be a thing. Into the middle of the ice, he couldn't fucking grab that pass because he got tied up. I missed my body check right there. That wasn't the best. Okay, let's just uh, let's just slow it down here. Now, the reason I decided to play uh, both this game and the Boston game is because it's a back-to-back. -back. It's leaves Boston, you know, and also we're in the Atlantic Division with them. So it's two very good games. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I blocked that. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, so it's two Atlantic Division teams that are probably going to be competing for a playoff spot by the time the season is winding down. So... It's early in the season, but you still got to get those four-point games in, and you still got to get those dubs, you know, nice and early and build a cushion for the late game. All right, let's go. When injuries start to happen and shit, that's when you want to have a cushion. Back to Summers, good stuff. Slap shot from Summers, and it's going to be stopped, and they just get the rebound because we were boxed the fuck out. That's the thing that's going to happen here with this Sabres team is we're going to get boxed out for rebounds quite a bit. We don't really have any big... Uh, big player or like gritty type of player not a, at least not on this first line look at Goudreau look at Goudreau but yeah basically we have a lot of uh, finesse players you know skill players you know it's which is not a bad thing we're probably faster than most uh, most other first lines get in there Goudreau big save we're killing a penalty almost getting a goal so that might be why you see us pass it a lot because we just don't have the the grinders to just drive the net that much you know we gotta we gotta take 
hooking penalties from behind the net in the offensive zone, apparently. Who the fuck did that? Oh, come on, man. Come on, Goudreau. And, of course, they're going to score. Yep, there it is. Boom. All right. Now we are down 3-1 against the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is not going well. Can we please play for my boy Morgan Riley? Oh, we're going to have simulation goal. Please let it be like Jack Eichel. Yes, there you go. Boom. The depth scoring from the Toronto, not the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Buffalo Sabres. Whenever I see Toronto Buffalo, you know, I'm always in my mind, I'm on, I'm on Toronto because because that's my Eastern Conference team. So every time I'm commentating, you know, and I do something for my team, I want to say that my team is the Leafs, but it is not. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's your answer, Leafs Nation. When uh, when Frederick Anderson's contract is up, apparently you guys are getting Semyon Varlamov, which is great on some days and not great on other days. That doesn't seem to be a middle ground with Varlamov. He's either lit or not too great. I know uh, I, I triggered some fucking kid saying lit in the last video, so apologies to absolutely nobody for the language that I choose to use. We pulled our goalie? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's never, that's never good. Okay, go. Please get the puck back. Please get the puck. I hate when we pull the goalie in this game because the AI sucks when the goalie's pulled. He's gonna, of course, pass it to me. Okay, up the right side and a nice save by Varlamov. Good shit, please. Please. No, 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 no. Fuck. Okay, okay, let's be aggressive here, boys. Let's not let them... Okay, they're gonna miss the net. Hopefully that's a Patrick Steffen thing. Eight seconds left up the right side. Not who I wanted to pass to, but it's all good. Are we gonna give me the puck? Yes, we are! Last shot of the game wide of the fucking net. Are you kidding me? We lose to the Buds. 3-2. Ugh. If I fucking sniped at far side, that would have been an amazing way to send it to overtime. But I'm just a playmaker, man. I ain't no sniper. I don't have my sniper build out here. If that was my sniper build from a couple years ago, man, you better believe that motherfucker was going bar down for the game. So Morgan Riley is going to lose his return game to Toronto, which is not ideal, man. I really wanted a huge job for him. He's a man rocket. He deserves it, but... Man, sometimes it's not about what you deserve, it's about what you do, and uh, just couldn't do it right there. We got an assist, though, in the simulation in that game. There you go, we have 24 points on the season. Boom, let's have a good start to the game, I was about to say, and boom, that sure as fuck does qualify. We scored a goal in the simulation, along with my boy P.K. Subban, who I think got his first as a Sabre. So let's go, man, in Boston on the tail end of a back-to-back. -back. We're going to go ahead and dump the puck in nice and early, but yeah, tail end of a back-to-back. It's out here. Poke checking it. Yeah, there you go. Down low. Kicking it down low. We can't do it. Nah, man. That would have been great. But we're heading into the second period with a 3-1 lead. Let's just let's just settle it down. Alright. We don't need we don't need huge amounts of offense. Nice glove save right there. Devin Dubnik playing back-to-back -back nights, eh? We're not gonna play our backup at all. Our backup is old ass Henrik Lungfist, I think, right? It's like 40 year old Henrik Lungfist or some shit. I don't know, man. He's an 80 overall. He should still be. Uh, he should still be a, like an option. Oh my god! <laughs> this is why this team is amazing. Did y'all see that? Oh my goodness, the passing! Look at this, to Reinhardt, back across the crease, to Goudreau. Holy fuck! Wow! Goudreau's gotta be absolutely loving it here in Buffalo if that's the type of goals that he's scoring. Holy smokes. Easiest goals of his career, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's like, it's like, um, Tavares in Toronto this year. It's like, man, I've never had such an easy time in goal score, man. Martiner's just setting him up for, like, the easiest happens of his life, all right? And he, I think he already has his career high, and we have, like, 15 games to go, all right? It's, it's lit. Morgan Riley is apparently out here killing penalties. Like, admittedly, we don't really have that many defensive or two-way defensemen. Like, they're all pretty offensive-minded. Summers is an offensive defenseman. Riley, they might have him as a two-way, but he's an offensive defenseman. Let's not kid ourselves. Subban is an offensive defenseman. Like, all of our best defensemen are offensively minded, which is, leads to some weird penalty killing units, but you know, it seems to be working so far. What a fucking pass. If he just caught that correctly, oh, bud. 
All right, we're going to go to the left side. Oh, he's open as fuck. And that's going to go wide because that's Kyle Paul Mary and not Johnny Goudreau. Just going to go back down low. We did manage to kill that penalty, which is great. It's great news. And of course, of course, nice glove save. Don't throw it out, Dubnik, you fucking idiot. Are you serious? How are you going to throw it out like that? That's dumb. That was dumb. And that was even dumber. All right, back into the corner. Let's go. Let's go up the right side. Boom, just like that. Just like that. Gonna go skirt, gonna skirt this shit, and back, he's open, goal, let's fucking go, what a clapper, what a fucking shot by Reinhardt, holy smokes, alright, so that gives me two assists in this period, and we are now up 5-1 to one on Boston, maybe they're not that great, you know, maybe they're not, uh, they're not an, uh, an upper tier team anymore. We are four years in, so a lot of the pecking order might have changed, you know, like the, a lot of time you know goes by in four years and yeah i know in the last video someone asked me to go through the bolts roster and i'm like man i would like i really would but then if i go through the bolts roster then everybody's gonna want to see a certain particular team and i just don't feel like going through the entire league like i don't feel like that's necessary because especially because you can't see the lines and what they're actually running if you could see the lines it would make a little bit more sense but i feel like just looking at the roster sheet is just not gonna, you know, visualize, give us enough of a, a good visualization of where everybody is standing. I feel like a lot of people would just skip through that whole sequence or just not watch the video at all. Like, I just don't feel like that's a good, good idea to do. But if we do, I'm gonna say this, if we do make the playoffs, which I am firmly believing we will, with the, I mean, if we don't make the playoffs with this fucking fire squad of a, uh, of a lineup, there's a problem with me, like, pr period unless i get injured and like everybody else dies you know like it's just it's just, even that man we made the playoffs with fucking i missed half the season last season and we made the playoffs and still got the president's trophy so i mean shit you know okay let's go to the oh yes ah oh, i missed the i missed the pass but as i was saying if we do make the playoffs which i believe we will I am going to go through the roster of every team that we face in the playoffs. Oh, God. Are you serious? I just got absolutely demolished because I couldn't pick up the puck. Get up. Get the fuck up. All right. Thank God. Thank God we're back. And that puck's going to be interesting. Yep, there it is. At least the Bruins have a good goal horn. At, at least they do. I fucking love the Bruins goal horn. I don't care what anybody says. And now we have a 5-2 to two lead, which, you know, up by 3, it's late in the second period. It's still possible that we lose this game, so we don't want to lose track of that for sure. But uh, we just need to maybe take a little bit less chances and, of course, take less penalties. But that's going to remain an issue as long as uh, as long as long NHL 19 is out, pretty much. But let's go, man. We are starting the, ooh, we're starting the third period with a power play. That's a bad idea. Whoever whoever took that penalty is, is just a bad idea. When you want to have a three-goal comeback in the third period, starting that motherfucker off with the Buffalo Sabres power play on the ice is not great. You know, that's not that's not step one of a, of, of a nice uh, comeback plan. Let's go, boom. Yeah, good passing. Of course. Oh, and we couldn't even finish it off. We couldn't even score on that power play because we had a whole 10 seconds of ice time. That's great. Let's go down low, down low, bud. Yes, good shit, good shit. Just back to the middle. Yeah, good stuff. Johnny Gaudreau finishing it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit. That was a nice fucking pass. Man, why couldn't we do this against Toronto? Fuck, man, that that makes me sad. That makes me sad that we couldn't do this for Riley. Oh, man, I wanted the rebounds for Gaudreau. That's going to be easy glove save. Speaking of which, who the fuck is the goalie for the Bruins forced? Uh, I think that guy's actually in the system right now. So Bruins fans, let me know if Forrest is good or if he's still <coughs> green as a goaltender. Huh. <laughs> I am so, so sorry. Oh, chill. Oh, God. Oh, thank goodness I didn't get called for that. All right. My my hit animation must have ended because, good Lord, I absolutely interfered with that guy. But they're not going to call it. So if, it, if they're not going to call it, I never did it, you know? Boom. Good pass to me. Spin pass it. Back to the left side. What a play right there by the Sabres. It's just we have we have the, the talent now. All right. Listen, bud gonna do do all these fucking fancy ass stick wiggles out here listen 
I was there with you the whole time. All right, Sway, don't even get the shit twisted. Yo, up, no, God, that's not good. Big save by Dubnik, please hold on to it. Brad Marshan, who's the captain of the Bruins in this uh, in this reality, four years in, he has the puck right now. He's gonna go back at the point, just gonna let Dubnik handle that. Didn't feel like uh, trying to do too much on that play. Boom, could go to the left side. And my job is so easy. As a playmaker, I get to pass to Sam Reinhart, fully developed, or almost fully developed, and Johnny Gaudreau. What a, what a fucking, what a job that is, huh? Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna yeet that right to Reinhart on a nice sow surpass. What is Reinhart doing? Reinhart doing some shit I'd have never saw. How the fuck did he stop that? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? Wow, 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 wow. I thought I had another assist uh, cooking, but apparently not another one-timer save. This kid is actually pretty lit. Gonna go around the boards. It's fine. I just want to be a little bit conservative here. I want to play for Devin Dubnik a little bit. There's no, need, there's no need to take any chances. Just don't allow a goal. We're gonna go ahead and draw a penalty with 43 seconds left as number 42. Acting like Nazem Kadri, number 43. Everything is related, all right? Boom. Big dubs. Actually, hold on. Scratch that. Huge jobs, bud, for the Buffalo Sabres against the Boston Bruins this time. And it's a 6-2 scoreline. We had a whole boatload of assists. A metric fuck ton. Some would say A-plus for offense. Yeah, damn, Skippy, if I don't get the first star, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I had a goal, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I scored in the simulation. 5.9 for the kid. Again, I asked, why the fuck couldn't we play this well against Toronto? But it's all good, man. 46 shots on net against the Bruins goaltender, and he couldn't stop a goddamn thing. 6-2, the final score. And that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hook your boy up and push the like button in the face. Spam a lot of it. Comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys. And I'm out this bitch. Peace.